Welcome back to the channel everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. Today what I have for you guys is a brand new Red Dead Online video and today we will be checking out one of Red Dead Online's robbery missions. We are doing the rich pickings over at Braithwaite Manor which I think is the more entertaining version of the new source of employment rich pickings which originally released with the Sand Denis Mayor's house but then we got an update I believe in September of 2022 and we got new new source of employment missions for the missions of Outrider, One Horse Deal, as well as Rich Pickings. So we're going to be doing Rich Pickings at Braithwaite Manor. It's a high-intensity robbery mission. It's probably one of the more fun telegram missions you could play in this game. It's a nice challenge. We're going to be running through, spending 12 minutes on it to get that optimal gold and money and XP, and we are going to see just how much currency we can make for that optimal time to payout ratio. So thank you guys so much for tuning back in. Enjoy the gameplay. All right, so what we're going to do for this mission is the newer robbery mission. Not new, but it's the newer version of the OG Rich Pickings, which of course came out in February of 2021. And of course, you're robbing the mayor's mansion in San Denis. But the one that I like more is Rich Pickings Braithwaite Manor Edition, because of course it's a Braithwaite Manor robbery. It's awesome. And on Ruthless Difficulty, it is quite intense. So, with that being said, let's jump in and let's get her done. And while we start this too, what I'm gonna do is immediately set my stopwatch on my phone so I can keep track of the time that we're at on the mission. As always, take a potent health cure. What I'm also gonna do is take some minty big game. I'm gonna need to make some more, craft some more tonics and craft some more meats at the end of this. Once I jump back into the free room. Our loadout today, we're gonna be using the Evans Repeater, the semi-auto shotgun again, because I've just been loving this thing recently. I can't put it down. As well as two Schofield revolvers and using express ammo on everything and of course shells. And then paint it black for my dead eye card, eye for an eye, strange medicine, cold blooded. The classic hazard ability card loadout. I feel like maybe for one of these videos soon I should change things up just a little bit, but I've been enjoying this build. You know, it's always been a fun one for me. I don't think we're gonna do it stealth today. We're just gonna jump in and go guns blazing. And I'd like to loot the bodies if I can, but let's start by kind of clearing out a bunch of the enemies outside if we can, just so there's not as many like running into the doors after us while we're trying to loot objects. So as you guys know, if you've played through this, at least compared to the mayor's house, things can get intense on the first floor of this house just because of the fact that the rooms are really small in some cases, and so when you're trying to like open up different desks and, and looting the stuff, trying to find the valuables you need to take them to Josiah and actually complete the mission, what ends up happening is an NPC will run into the room, and he'll just blast you into pieces with his repeating shotgun. You can't really react because he's just so CQB. The amount of damage he's doing on you is just too much. So what I like to do, I mean, I, I typically don't run around on horseback like this and clear everyone out, but it is making this quite enjoyable. I think that's a good spot for us to now head inside. And he's gonna come out and try and shoot us right away, but that ain't gonna happen. Make sure the same thing, like, sort of how we kind of went around the perimeter of the outside. We want to do the same thing in here, but I think we're pretty much covered. There's, like, one more enemy downstairs than I heard, but probably no big deal for right now. I'm surprised it took that long for us to get a, a 1 at level 2. What do I need to actually search here? Is it... Oh, now it's going to tell me. Okay, this drawer on the table. So now we'll have the enemies from Braithwaite Manor. We got the law coming after us. There's just... The amount of chaos that'll happen on this mission is really fun. It's addicting, you know? And you may even find it to be more beneficial for you to even try this in first person, because, of course, that way... You know, like, I play a lot of S FPS games, and so usually my preferred thing to do, like, during, like, close quarters interiors like this is first person, but... Out of any mission you do in first person in this game, I feel like this is the one you should do it on because you don't want enemies sneaking up on you and you want to make sure you can actually turn around in time before they kill you. Because like every single one of these enemies, as you can see, is using either repeating shotguns, uh, semi-auto shotguns, or they have Litchfield repeaters as well. And all of those will just destroy your health. It really is no joke. So let's see. Uh, there's nothing in here that we gotta get. If there's nothing in the particular room you're searching for, 
the icon or like the little search area will go away. And if there is an item you need to search, it'll show up on the map if you get close to it. So you can actually see like the physical location it's actually in. So let's check the desk. It looks like we are going to find something. Is it on the other side? I need to check. No, we're just going to take this gold pocket watch. And somehow that guy's missing me. Oh, this isn't good. I gotta get out of here. Hold on. Take that tonic. <laughs> All of a sudden, there were a bunch of enemies in this room. Probably have to hip fire him a little bit. Oh. Let's see. Where are you, buddy? Wait. Oh, we got away. Surprised. As you can see, there's a lot going on. And I want to make sure I can kill this guy first, so now we can try and loot these drawers in peace. This is the one I always have trouble on, because like enemies will rush into this hallway, and then I'm stuck opening up a bunch of drawers. And it usually bites me in the ass. Oh my lord, that was savage. One more, nice headshot. Oh, shit. I want my hat back. But first, can I just kill this guy, please? Jesus. Take you down. Take the hat. Nope, not the guard. Not what I want. Oh, my lord. This is, this is bad news. Not good. We got a tonic up before anyone else shoots me. Can I just get my hat back, please? Thank you. Okay, now they want us to go upstairs because there was nothing downstairs. And usually there's only like one or two things up here. They have you search all the rooms anyway, but a lot of the time for me, I just never have any items to actually get out of here. And what you could do if you're trying to force the game to show you the location of items is run around to all the different cabinets and that way they'll get like marked off the unofficial list of all the places you need to check so that way you can kind of just run by it and like brush your character's body up against them and then that way you'll know like because if an item actually is there then it'll show up on the map at that point once you actually stand in front of the drawer you're supposed to loot but a lot of the time there's nothing up here anyway they just have you search could be something in here i'd imagine maybe maybe not Let's check the armoire and here, okay, last item. What did I miss? Oh, in here, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> the last time I had to go into the powder room to actually loot that was like, I don't know, dozens of missions ago. I haven't had, needed to go in there for a while. I forgot that room existed, but that's it. That's the mission. So now, you know, we are at six minutes, 45 seconds on the clock for this mission. So what I'm gonna do is finish looting the rest of these bodies. And we'll take the valuables to Josiah, and we'll wait outside the outside. And I want to get to the 12-minute mark, so we can see how much gold money and XP we'll make for 12 minutes on this. Which should be 64 gold nuggets, while this mission is double gold. It should be about, I would imagine, I mean, we found all the valuables and everything. We didn't die, nothing like that. So it should be like 80 bucks for 12 minutes spent. And then what, like 1,200, 1,300 XP? So, you know what? We got some time to kill anyway. Let's just kill all these guys, then we'll leave. I probably won't loot them, though. I'll just kill them. You guys are ragdolling all over the place, but they won't fall over. I heard one more. Where is he? Oh, he's hiding out over here. I didn't even see him before. Either of these guys. There are two of them. Okay, that was a tragic miss of all those shotgun shells right there. It's like, there's more over here. And that should be good. That's like everyone on the property dead now, for the most part. But, as usual, when you try and leave, you know, you'll see a couple enemies chase you on horseback, things like that. It's not too big of a deal, as long as you... Abuse your paint at black. You'll be able to mark your headshots on them and get some easy dome kills. 
But now with that being said, I, I think it's time for us to quit this place. Let's head over and deliver these valuables to Josiah. I'll see you guys there. All right, so we're rolling up on Josiah's location, but we are only nine minutes and 40 seconds into this mission. So I'm just going to hold off for a little bit longer. I'll wait to that 12 minute mark. Guarantee ourselves the 12 minute payout interval. And it'll be some good golden money for some time well spent here in this game. All right, so it's been 12 minutes. Now let's jump in and turn in the valuables. That'll finish the mission. We can head back to free room and see if we can get correct with that amount. Like if it's going to be $79, $80. But there you go, 64 gold nuggets right there. We'll have to get back into the free room to see the cash and XP payouts. All right, 1,008 XP, so a little bit less. And only $67.47. I guess we're not doing it in stealth. Because that would be 80 bucks, because that's the ruthless difficulty payout for 12 minutes. And max payout. I wasn't I wasn't taking into account the fact that we weren't doing stealth, and so that was going to take a lot of money off. But, I mean, 16 bucks, and depending on your play style, you know, I just yeet myself into every single gunfight possible. I never really do stealth. I probably should do them at some point, but it is what it is. Anyways, really, really fun Braithwaite robbery, Braithwaite mansion, Braithwaite manor robbery mission, I should say, to be more specific here. Super fun. If you guys haven't played any of those newer new source of employment missions with the different variants, you know, of course, we have the standard ones, one horse deal at Emerald Ranch, Outrider that will take you either to Armadillo or Blackwater, or rich pickings in Sandini at the mayor's house. Try out these other ones at Braithwaite Manor. The Shea Porter Outrider is over by Cattail Pond, and sometimes you go to Coulter, sometimes you go all the way up to Calumet Ravine. And then the one horse deal at McFarland's Ranch deals with the Rose Gray Arabian. And it's, it's it, they're all just super fun. I like the newer ones versus the old, but let me know in the comments what you guys think about this mission, what you guys think about the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Check me out over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I live stream Red Dead Online several times a week over on my Twitch, and would love to have you guys get involved with the community over on there. That would be awesome. Definitely come say hi next time I'm live. And again, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, amigos.